Hello and welcome to Colorado. Uh, we've, we're, we're here. Um, you'll notice my money down below. We, we co it costs a little bit more and it's not getting any better. You'll notice most of the stuff is here. Got it all spread out all over the place. We just literally, the guys pulled in with the trucks. Um, uh, we got another crane out here that cost a bloody fortune um, to get the meat station off. Um, uh, I think New Holland's back there with the trailer. We we finally got the cow milking thing set up. We got the cows, the sheep, the chickens, the pigs are over there in that see the barn way over there. That's the pigs. Do you notice what's missing though? I got all this stuff. You notice what's missing? Did you say Kenworth? Oh. So remember that Kenworth was having some sort of engine malfunction earlier? Oh man. Well, I have to take a little ride here. So, um, okay, so there's one of our fields, by the way. That's wheat. There's a field over there of, I don't know, barley, I think. Um, Got to be careful coming up onto that. Uh, here's another one of our fields here that's uh, oat, I think. Maybe. And then we have another field on the other side. This is definitely, you can tell, it's definitely a corporate farm. Uh, like the New York boys, they, they put in a pretty penny. I think we can go this way um, to get out there. Uh, this is a, this is, this is, yeah, this is Colorado, really. Um, oh, I probably could have taken that dirt road. Um, no, I think this dirt road is the right dirt road to take. It's, it's a lot of land. Um, we only own the, the four fields. But um, that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> we'll be picking up the other fields as we go along, I think. Because there's a lot of work to be done. Ooh, got to be careful coming down this road. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, this is going to get us close to the truck. So we were, we were coming up the road here to Kenworth. And, and then there was just this, this really loud bang. And, and then... Oil pressure dropped through the floor, and and there was some smoke coming out from underneath the truck. And yeah, we, we ended up calling the missus. She came out with the truck to pick us up. Hey, look at this inside view. Yay! Yay. Okay. Um, so yeah, the truck is all the way out here. We got it off the road. We were able to cruise it off the road a little bit. Up. Uh, the boys couldn't stick around, unfortunately. Um, so we're kind of out here with a broken down truck and no replacement. So yeah, we this is where our equipment has stalled. Uh, we've called the rescue truck, um, the tow truck, and they're, they're on their way, but um, yeah. I'll show you more in a second. Um, but basically, uh, it, it's it's underneath, the, or it's past underneath that frame piece there, so you can't really see it. But there's actually a hole in the um, in the block. Uh, it looks like we uh, dropped a rod and put a hole in the block. So it looks like that Kenworth is going to be a total write-off. Um, we got $30,000. That's not enough for another truck. Plus, we're going to have to pay the wrecker that's coming out here. Um, yeah, it's, it's not fun at all. I mean, thankfully they're coming from Lyman, so it's relatively close, but, um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to have them tow the truck and trailer as is over to the, um, the farm and then just tow the truck into a, a junkyard and I'm just, I'm done with the truck. We're, we're done with the truck. It's just not, not going to work for us. So, um, yeah, I'm just heading up this way to kind of give you a, an idea of the scale of this place. Quite the place. <laughs> it's huge. Um, there's this, this nice little subdivision here. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Where all the, the, the guys, the, you know, the people that pretend like they want to live in the country come and they 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 have their their little 
place. Then they complain about the smell of manure or whatever they complain about. Anyway, um, so yeah, this this is our new farm. It is quite the uh, the facility here. Um, the the New York boys they, they put some money out. Uh, I'll give them that much. I mean, they put out some cash to get all this stuff, but. I mean, they still didn't know what they were doing. Not 100%, but that's okay. Neither do we, really. So, it's all it's all well and good. All right, so first things first is, let's um, turn that off. All right, let me pull up the PDA. All right, so that doesn't really give a sense of scale, does it? In fact, it's missing a bunch of stuff. There is the size of our map. There's a city down here. Um, there's a, one of these two is, I think this is silage and this is the horse farm. Um, the shop is right here or somewhere right around, there's the shop right there. There's a little pizza place right here. And then that's the subdivision we were just driving by. There's another little town up here. Um, yeah, there's, there's just different things here and there. Let's go and look at... So we've got the cardinal plant. Cardinal plant also does sugar beets. It's just for whatever reason that the sugar beet money isn't underneath the cardinal plant. That's okay. We've got the farm shop, the freight yard, the inn, the Lone Star Ranch, Mac Bio, and a mill. So there you go. We can still chaff at Mac Bio. All right. So there we go. Now, let's go back in here again. Um, so fields 20 through 20, or 19 through 22 are ours. 20 and 22 are ready. You can see they are wheat and barley. We have soybean in field 19. We have oats in field 22. Um, they're not ready to go yet, and that is good. Um, so we're gonna probably fire up the class here and get on with the uh, the farm in here. Um, the missus is a little bit happier out here, I think. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, the grass is not as green because it's kind of, you know, Colorado is considered a desert state. Oh, man, they parked the trailer in front of the head. Oh, this, this is going to be funny. Uh, see, without the, without the, um, Without the uh, truck, this is going to be a very difficult start, I think. Just push that out of the way a little bit. There. Jeez. Uh, come on. Do this. Hear that. Sort of. There we go. So we're gonna have to get some some straw for the cows. I'm just gonna push that out of the way. I know you wouldn't really do that, but <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I gotta get some some feed ready for the cows. So we're gonna have to be cognizant of that. Uh, we also have to get some feed ready for the sheep. Chickens chickens don't matter so much. Yeah. All right, so these are pretty big fields. So we should get some, some decent yield. Now, given that we're in a desert state, I'm not expecting a huge yield. Um, when we were in Appalachia, I expected a pretty decent yield because, well, it was Appalachia. It was land of, of high fertility. Um, here, I don't know if I really expect that as much. All right, hire the worker, off he goes. Oh crap, is he cutting that? I don't want you to cut that. Uh, crap. Um, him? There we go. That's what I want. Because I'm actually going to need that straw. Okay, good. All right. Excellent. He can head off that way. Okay. Um, and this facility over here is also really interesting. I, I was... I was really shocked that the, the New York boys put this in here, but um, this is basically a sorting shop, a sorting facility. 
it's really great. You know, you got manure, chaff, I'm not sure what those are, uh, grass, straw, silage, and forage. So I can dump it in there, um, and then it dumps it in over there, and then a vice, and then I can, I think I come under here, and then it just dumps it out. That's what I've gathered so far. That's really exciting because it means I have, I have less, like, hard work to do, really. Um, okay. So that's, that's where we're standing right now. Um, I'm really totally bummed about the, the Kenworth dropping that rod like that, but I think it's going to set us back monetarily. But, um, I'm not going to know until the, the, the guys come out here and tow the, well, I know it's going to set us back some, because they're going to have to come out here and they're going to have to tow the truck and trailer up here disconnect the trailer and then they're going to charge me anyway for towing the uh, wrecked rig out to uh, Lyman to dispose of it which is boo <laughs> alright so uh, what else what else what else I'm not sure what else honestly I mean I could drive you around the map but the map is Huge, huge. So I'm going to go out of completely out of character here, so that we we're all on the same page on this. This map comes from Duke Farming. This is what's called a 4x map. It is four times the size of something like Hagenstead. Hagenstead's a pretty darn big place. But let's check my field management. Um, oh, it doesn't actually give me the size. All right. So we're going to, let's hop out to field. And notice that, that the fields that I have are the smallest fields here. So we're going to run up to field 11. And we should get an idea of the size of uh, field 11. We'll take the Ford. Um, yeah, the these are not small by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, that cedar right there... <laughs> That cedar right there is probably going to need a replacement pretty quickly because it's not going to to be able to do much in terms of... I mean, it's going to take a long time to seed out here with that cedar. Now, I picked this map for a couple reasons. One, um, it's with the full support of Duke. So if I find a problem with this map, if I'm encountering issues with the map, I know that I can go ask him questions... Um, and and get a little bit of help in maintaining the map. The other reason is it has pigs. That was the, that's the pig barn right there because everyone wanted me to do piggies anyway. So there you go. There's pigs. And then on top of that, it had soybean and oats, which are two new fruits. All right, let's check out. All right, so this is a 20.47 hectare field here at field 11. That's 20 hectares right there. So I'm probably, I don't know, 15 hectares maybe to field 21 and 22. So these, these fields ramp up in size fairly quickly. I mean, you look at this field and you're looking at some pretty large stuff. Um, it is why the... Uh, I've got the 780 still. I could have easily gotten rid of the 780 as a, as a funding thing. In fact, if you go and download this Duke Farming map, it doesn't come with all the toys that I have. I'm not going to give you a map download this time, and there's a couple reasons. One, this particular setup of this season is based completely on last season. So um, based on what I brought out of uh, Red Hill Farms, Second reason is actually if you go download his map, you're better off than I am. Because um, when you download his map, you, your starting cash is only $4,000, but you also have all the fields and a whole bunch of big, awesome machinery. Which some of you might go, oh, but it's all the fields. Yeah, but you don't have to do all the fields. Simple as that. Um, the other thing that this map has... And I will go ahead and tell you this up front. This map has real yield built in. What does that mean to you? Well, re 
I was using real yield at Red Hill Farm. And what it did is, remember how I was having those low harvests? And some of you weren't having the low harvest. Well, you weren't having the low harvest because you didn't have real yield on. Okay, this has real yield built in, so don't expect, don't expect to get as much yield off of your, your farm. Uh, I really prefer you not to be on the, uh, uh, all right, all right, I'll, I'll drive on the wheat this time. I really, I really shouldn't, but you're not going to make it to the other end. I know that. There we go. Um, what else? Oh, um, fast forwarding time in Duke's map. Very different than fast forwarding time in Hagenstad or whatever that map is for titanium. Uh, it doesn't actually change the growth rate too much. Um, and he did that because of just the pure size of this map. So don't expect to hit the, the uh, 120 times and fast growth rate and have an entire field grow in like half a day. Expect to actually, you're going to have to put forth some serious effort to... Uh, to see your your growth rate, uh, or, or see your your fields grow. Go, thank you, Dasa. Let me get off the wheat, which I shouldn't be driving on anyway, but I did. This map may take a little bit of horsepower to run because it is a 4x map. If you're having problems with it, you're going to want to reduce your your game resolution. Um, I do have some pretty heavy hits to my frame rate every once in a while. You might notice it in my videos from time to time. Um, that's actually due to, to fraps running also. Um, I maintain a pretty steady 30 minimum. Um, I, I maintain about 50 minimum when I'm not running fraps. I'm running fraps, I'm, I'm looking at about 30. Um, and then every once in a while it drops down to two and comes right back up. So, and I know that's when uh, Fraps is saving a file. Uh, and that's really because my hard drive is getting beaten to death again. So I'm going to have to get yet another hard drive. Why not, right? Everyone likes more hard drives. I do. Uh, which one of these? You are wheat. Yes, you are. And see, nice little sign selling me wheat. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now, if you do go on Duke's website, remember you have to register to download. It doesn't hurt you at all to register. If you don't want to give them your email address, just make a new email address. Uh, but you can also download a pack of mods that he has customized for this map. It includes a 770 American version, meaning that he's... he's um, He's got it prepped to work, meaning it will take soybean and oats by default. You won't have to modify your tractor. Um, he's got a bunch of big equipment, big trailers, um, semis, that, that kind of thing. So definitely equipment that fits on a map of this size. So that is, that is good um, if you go on his website and want to download that. Uh, let's turn that off. All right. So I'm hoping that we're going to get, um, I'm going to have to buy a chicken coop. I can see that already. Hey guys. Can I just see my egg? No. Water mod is not installed on here, which, um, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm okay with it. Um, so water, water mod isn't installed. And, um... Yeah, other than that, I mean, this is really a, a very large map, very much a multiplayer map. If you're looking for a map to maybe throw up on your farming sim server, he's got a multiplayer variety of this map worth worth you checking out. Um, but this is going to be this is going to be interesting for us to play on this map. We will um, we're going to try to play here for a little while before we move somewhere else. See. Going back in character now. 
just so you know. See, the missus really wants to move to Europe. Like, she has always wanted to live in Europe. And I keep telling her, you know, one of these days, one of these days. And finally she was like, you know what? One of these days is going to happen really soon, whether you like it or not. Which I took to mean you need to do it. Sure, we could have, you know, sold all the equipment and, and gone to Europe uh, out of out of Appalachia. But I, I didn't feel right. I was like, you know what? I, I lost big time on Appalachia. It, it kicked my butt. I really want to get ahead. And I was thinking, you know, it would be really awesome. It would be to go farming in Europe. But to go farming in Europe, I'm thinking I'm going to need some capital. Because I'm going to have to buy a farm. And it's more expensive in Europe than it is in, say, Colorado. Especially eastern Colorado. So... So the, the thought really was, well, perhaps it's time that I, I farm this farm hard. We push this farm to its max, hopefully making some money. I'm hoping to, to turn some money on this. And if I can, then pack up and go to Europe and maybe buy a, a small farm in Europe. Just something, you know, to keep me busy. And and farm in Europe. Now we're gonna have to get this guy on his on his turnabout here. Now because of the size of the map, despite me only having 30 grand, I'm probably gonna have even less after they tow the the, uh, the Kenworth in. I'm still going to use hired workers a lot. Checking to make sure there's no traffic. No, look, there's a lot of it. Um, I'm probably going to still use hired workers a lot. Driving cab a little bit. And the reason I'm going to use hired workers a lot still is because, well, these fields are freaking massive. I've also put course play back in. And you'll notice I've got the fields 19 through 22 already laid out. So I can use them, I can load those in for various bits of field work, which is excellent. I mean, it should save me some time as well. Um, I know I, I've said, oh, I don't like course play because it doesn't cost me anything. It's true, it doesn't cost me for the workers. But, you know, we can, we can make some justifications there. Um, and I'm really only going to use it for, for a very, very few things, like um, when I'm fertilizing with liquid manure or something like that. Um, that's probably about when I'm going to do it. Uh, do I have to get closer to you? Okay. Let's not hit him. There we go. Look at that. Kind of close to that head there. There we go. There we go. Speed up a little bit. Slow down a little bit. All right. How's he doing? 20. Okay. 20%. So I, I'm hoping to get this field sorted on wheat. I can get the barley field done before uh, the soybeans or the oats are ready, because that would really, I'd really ruin my day to have to do three uh, three fields with one combine. I know some of you are saying, "Well, class isn't really the what you'd be using out here." Um, that's possibly true, but it's what I'm using. All right, and it, and we're probably going to use the the class quantum to collect some straw, and then we'll bale some, and then we'll forage some. So we're just going to kind of to do as much as we can 
with this field um, with with the uh, with the equipment we have. I'm hoping to, to maybe you know in a in a little bit we'll we'll look at buying another combine. That would be nice to have a second combine. Um, first priority though is of course another semi because we're not going to be able to do anything without another semi cab since we lost the Kenworth worst possible timing too bye bye anybody coming? nope nobody coming alright Probably should think about an overloader at some point in time. That's that's not going to be anytime soon, I don't think. There we go. Nice outside view. Nice eight frames per second there for a second. Awesome. Yeah, my uh, my recording hard drive <laughs> is uh, is just dying I think it's not fraps is not your friend when it comes to some of this stuff uh, so I gotta do something about that eventually there we go come on there we go bumpity bump All right. So this is really what we're going to be doing here in the beginning. I, I can't do much for the cows because they need forage. There's not a lot of grass, which is going to be like, you know, in the Appalachia, I just drove around and I could pick up grass like nobody's business. It was everywhere. That's not po that's not happening here. And that is sort of a pain in the butt. Um... And I don't really want to turn over one of these fields to grass because then, then I'm going to have to plow it through again to get it switched over to something else. And that's not really high on my list of want-to-dos. Uh, let's see if I can get that class quantum. Oh, that's a terrible parking job. Put that class quantum... Ugh. I must have just rolled it off one of the beds. Ugh, man. Thankfully, my sheep are already producing wool. Not much, mind you, because I don't have any grass, but... All right, I can sort of make this. I must have done this before the bobcat was taken off the trailer. Go. There we are. All right, now this is going to be too... Once I fill this, it will be too heavy almost for the uh, John Deere, but, you know, uh, that's just the way it's going to go. Unfold it. There we go. Nobody coming. Nobody's coming. Wouldn't expect anybody to be coming, honestly. All right. Now, I want to that, and then, okay, that wouldn't work like quite like that, but like that, okay, that should be good, all right, excellent, 